Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming in. In this episode, we're going to pick up right where we left off uh, from the last episode. We are continuing to work on our final base configuration uh, up here. So, yeah, let's just jump right in and keep trucking. So I think the next thing we want to do is do some painting. So let's see what I have for paint and painting stuff. Uh, so we need a brush there, which we have, and we have 57 things of paint, which isn't going to be even close to enough. I don't remember what we need for paint in Undead Legacy, so let's take a look. Oh, we have got gunpowder. Look at that. Um, paint needs all of this stuff. Oh, yo. Okay. I don't have a lot of goldenrod. Um, I wonder if the goldenrod upstairs is ready to pick. That's really supposed to be more for mineral water, but we kind of need paint right at the moment. I do have some dyes that we could, I think, convert to paint. Um, yeah, you know what? I was going to wait to pick these, but I think we kind of need them now, so let's just pick them now. Um, one of you guys mentioned in the comments that I should put signs uh, in the stairwell as to what room is what, and I think that's a fantastic idea because... You know, we might uh, be using more rooms as time goes on. Uh, so let's put that in there. Let's put all the gunpowder in here. And uh, we'll put that in there for the moment. And we're going to need some murky water. So I guess I don't have any murky water because I turned it all into boiled water. For uh, cooking so let's go down here and I also want to see if my well is working better or not so it's only got nine charges seems to me like that's been majorly nerfed it used to work really well but now it's not so not working so good I mean it is working right but not super good okay Let's put these empties back in here. We got nine murky waters. So we'll see how far that gets us. I mean, if nothing else, I'll just take a bunch of jars out to a, a water source and fill them up out there. So I've heard some feedback from a, a few people like in the Discord about the new water system coming up in Alpha 21. What? How do you guys, how do you guys feel about that? Um, gen, the general consensus from what I've heard is the people aren't too happy about it that's kind of sucks <laughs> so i haven't really read up on it much myself um so i don't have an uh, haven't really formulated my own opinion on it but um yeah it's interesting so okay let's do this let's put that in there and we will mix 900 paints and we'll swap that with the ongoing gunpowder so let's see we're gonna need 47 about 48 ish burn time put one more in there than i needed to okay well hopefully we don't have to do a ton of painting today so hopefully this will be enough to let us get done what we need to do put that stuff in there All right, so um, do, 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 so we got the paintbrush. We'll grab this paint here. We still have six golden rods in there. So let's just we'll just wait forty more seconds for this to finish, so we have everything, and then we'll go from there. All right, so for this crafting room, uh, remember we're going to be running uh, and parking, actually, vehicles up here, too. That is the plan, anyway. So I think what I want to do is I want to go with probably a metallic, you know, great type of floor for that. Uh, let's see, so... Here, let's just go metal. That's roof, metal basic, corrugated, metal reinforced, metal riveted. 
wrought iron. Where's the one that has like the the tread on it? Rusty green metal roof. Hmm. All right, let's go floor. Metal steel floor. That's not really what I had in mind. <clears throat> There's a type of floor that has, you know, like a, I don't I'm not sure what you call it, but it's like the, the tread or the texture on it so you don't slip, you know, when it's wet, that kind of thing. It's kind of like a diamond looking thing. Yeah, tread plate. That's what I'm looking for. Metal tread plate. Why didn't that come up when I typed in metal? Um, I wish there was a cleaner version of that, but then again, that's the problem with Seven Days to Die in general is all of the textures look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and that's by design, but it's not. It'd be nice if we had cleaner ones to use on occasion if we really wanted to make things look nice. But I guess this is, yeah, this is kind of what I had in mind here. So I guess that's really our only option. All right, so let's go to a uh, larger brush size. Paint all, no, we don't want to paint all sides. And I don't want paint surface because I don't want all of that looking like a metal. All right, so how many blocks does this give us? It looks like it gives us a three by four area, which is interesting. Um, what? Seriously? What the heck, man? Okay. So let's do that, that, and that. See, now that's just done a 3x3, three three, so why did the other one do a 3x4? I don't know. That's weird. Okay, well, I guess we'll worry about that later then. Alright, so just to conserve paint, I'm going to do the rest of these as individuals since we don't have a ton of paint to work with here. Okay, so that gets the floor set up the way that I want it. Um, now for this part, Uh, we're still, well, we're still kind of in a crafting room here. Oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just make this the metal tread, too. Yeah, I think that looks all right. Now, um, let's go over here and use eyedropper and paint that to match there. We wanted to stick with this marble floor look though at least in the hallway maybe we'll do that so i drop that yeah i think that looks better i think that looks better uh, but since we have oh you know what these are half blocks aren't they that's that might cause some challenges for us because i wanted to put storage up along this wall but with these being half blocks, it's going to float, which I can't stand floating stuff in games. All right, so I think we're going to have to take this wall out, the half wall part of it anyway. It's fine in here. There is another possibility, and that is... Let's Here, let's get ourselves one of these containers because I think uh, are these the wait a minute do we have like steel containers too don't we we have secure steel safe small steel safe steel storage that has 96 whereas iron oh no large steel storage that has 192 Steel hinges, steel rebar, bolts, circuit boards. It's not super expensive. 
I mean, it's expensive, but not super expensive. We got a whole mess of iron ingots in here. Let's grab those out of there. And move them over to the appropriate chest. I think we already have plenty of iron plating to make our elevators. Yeah, we, we need 900. We have um, like 1183, so that's good. All right, well, let's let's make some steel plating then. We're going to need it anyway. We always need steel plating. All right, duh. <laughs> we have to turn that stuff into steel ingots first. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. So let's do that. Because those were just iron ingots that we put in there. So steel ingot. All right, I don't want to make 672, or do I? Um... No, let's let's keep some iron still, so let's make 500. And that'll give us about 250 plating then, I believe. Okay. So let's let's get uh, we need a, a total of 20 steel plating to make one of those large steel chests. Um, so I'm going to wait for that to finish and and then once we have it, I'm going to try a couple things here to maybe see if we can keep part of that half wall. All right, let's go ahead and craft a large steel storage. And when that's done, we'll go see how it might fit into my maybe plan over here. <laughs> might, maybe. Maybe might. Too many ifs in that, even though I didn't say if. But you know what I mean. Um, okay, so while we're waiting for that, I also need to decide what I'm going to do with the ceiling and with the walls and so forth. Um, let's, let's talk about ceiling. So, what would look good? One problem with the metal floor is it kind of darkened things up in here a little bit, so. How could we do a nice bright ceiling? This says medicine cabinet. What does that actually look like, though? Oh, no, yeah, no, we don't want that. <laughs> that filthy looking mirror, mirror texture. Um, all right. This is metal duct. Mm, nah, I'm not I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Glass industrial. Let's go to the next page here. What are you, if we just type in ceiling, we have drywall ceiling white, drop ceiling. I like the dark color, but again, it's going to make things kind of, kind of dark in here. Eh, I don't know. You know what, too? Let's let's actually not worry about the ceiling now that I think about it, because we have a limited amount of paint, and I'd like to get the lower stuff done first, because we're going to be putting items in front of it. So what is th what is this? That's I don't know what that is. It's kind of like a black shiny something or other. I'm. Um, I don't think we want the wood in the crafting. That's going to be more in the living area and in the kitchen. All right, so let's go back to this. Um, I know this is supposed to be drop ceiling, but I just, I really like the look of this texture. But here again, um, if we do all dark colors, then it's going to be dark in here. So let's go back to here. I, I like this large stones texture. I've used that um, more than once. Metal plate wall. Let's look at that for a second. Nah. No, nah, that's not doing anything for me. Uh, so let's, yeah, let's go with this stones large or concrete blocks. Eh, maybe it's the concrete blocks that I like. 
I think it's this texture here. Yeah, I, I like this. Let's go with this. It's not too dark. It doesn't look too shabby. And so we'll do the, the base of the wall in this texture. Our paint is getting low. And I'm not going to paint anything over here yet because we might end up doing something different with that. And we might even also do this for these supports here. Okay, that's looking a little bit better. Let's go grab our large storage, uh, steel storage container. Okay, so this is the same dimensions as the iron. So what I was thinking, can you, you yeah, okay, yeah, so we can stack those directly on top of one another. Um, well, what I want to do is I want to put the forge right over here and and because we'll, we'll be entering from here and then we'll have you know like a heavy load of ore and i want to be right next to where i want to drop it off i wonder if i should get the windows in place next before we before we do this well here i'm getting a little sidetracked but here's here's what i kind of was thinking we would do if we If we take this out, then we could put the storages right in here. And I want to come down. Well, the thing is, those we don't. I don't necessarily want to make a big wall of just storage because I want the storages to be next to the crafting stations that use them. So we're not necessarily going to completely fill this up. So it really kind of depends, I guess, on what crafting station we're going to put over here. But let's put that in there for the moment and decide what kind of crafting station we would put over here. Uh, so let's just kind of think this through. So, so we would put, we want the forges here in this area so we could put a for, forge chest up that way. Um, and then probably would make sense to put the blacksmith station next to the forges. So maybe the blacksmith station can go there. Um, this bench needs a corner and a fairly large one at that. That's the only bench currently that needs a corner, I think. Now, when we do the update, we'll be able to start updating the Kim bench and some other stuff there too. So we, so we might have more corner stations at that point. But because this is a corner here i'm thinking maybe we put the carpentry bench in that corner um is there anything in here yeah let's grab that stuff out of there why don't we pick this up and put that there okay I guess we could put these in place now because they're not going to be so high that we won't be able to, to paint the sill and put the windows in later. So, yeah, we, we can move these. All right, so anything inside of here? That, that, and that. Okay, so let's pick up this furnace here. And... I don't know if I want to put that right at the edge. Let's let's start there, and we can adjust it later if we need to. All right, you're finished. So let's take 
all of this out of here and I'm gonna put the steel in here for now uh, yeah then we'll pick this guy up set him there Grab the plating out of this one and get it over here. We're a bit heavy. I think I'm going to keep this over here. And the reason why I would do that is because... We might want to make a second one of these, or we might want to make more of these. So that gives us room to expand. I mean, not that we couldn't move them later on, too, but it's just better to get that decided now. All right, great. So I need to. we need to get another bellows, too. I don't know if I can make one of those, so we probably just need to buy one from the trader next time I'm at the trader, if I can remember that, which, <laughs> good luck with that, right? Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I like this arrangement, and we have a little bit of room to expand here, which we probably will. And, uh, yeah, so that means that will then dictate, of course, what storage we end up putting over here. And what I could do, too, is we could just keep using the iron storage, and then I can slowly over time upgrade it to the steel. Honestly, I like the look of the iron storage bins better than the steel anyway. Not that that matters a whole lot, but it kind of matters. Yeah, I like the look of the iron ones better anyway. So maybe we'll just stick with the iron ones for now. And then, like I said, um, we'll, up, we'll upgrade slowly over time to the steel ones. I like that plan. Okay, good. So now, over here, since we are in the kitchen area, can we, in Undead Legacy, can we make, like, working ovens or stoves? I know you can do that, like, in Ravenhurst. Nothing comes up there. If we could do something like that, it would probably be in the workbench, I'm thinking. Okay, nothing comes up for oven. What about stove? Really? What about cook? Okay, so... Let's do this. Let's go into the creative menu for a minute. oven wall oven microwave oven okay how about stove wood burning stove old stove can you cook in this furniture decoration this block can be placed but it is mostly of decorative value I know in some of the other mods you can actually cook in the wood burning stove it doesn't seem to indicate that you can, but you know what? I'm going to put it down just to see. Yeah, that is purely decoration. I can't open it or do anything with it. All right. Well, now we know. Got ourselves a little extra charcoal and scrap iron, but so what? Not a big deal. Okay, so... Um. Anyway, what I was thinking is, since this is kind of going to be over in the kitchen area, I'm thinking more like chemistry bench and cooking related items to go over that way ballistics table disassembly research station mortar and pestle all right yeah let's um what's that that's the tailor station mechanics table so what i'm thinking is we put the kim bench over in that corner uh, with the understanding that here again um it's going to change when we update and I don't know what the size of it's going to be in the update if it's going to physically change you know to a larger size or not it probably won't but yeah like I said I'm not really sure so let's put some things in there some things in here that can go in there and that gets us light hold on a sec 
All right, I'm back. I got I got called away for a second there. Um, what were we doing? I don't even remember now. Um, oh, we were gonna move the chemistry bench, right? Okay. Let's go grab that. Yeah, most likely. And you guys, if you guys already know, uh, definitely let me know in the comments if you don't mind. But I I would imagine the physical size of this station isn't going to change. It's just gonna update to a new model. Um, but yeah, let me know that if you if you can. Okay, so let's put this here in the corner. That's the new home for the Kim Bench, and then we'll put Kim Bench types of items in that uh, storage. What else would be somewhat appropriate to chemistry and to uh, food, that sort of thing? Probably, I'm thinking, what do we got? That's tailors, that's mechanics. Probably the ballistic station, just because, you know, it needs gunpowder, which is, I guess it's a chemical. Well, it's more of a compound, but you get the basic idea. So yeah, we'll put the, we'll put this over here. So now we can kind of keep gunpowder and ammo and that sort of thing uh, together in that area. All right, now we, we do not need this large of an opening here. Oh, wait a minute, though. Those are sticking out. That's right. Um, yeah, I, I want... We're going to need... <clears throat> I want to keep this area as spacious as possible because we're going to be bringing vehicles up here and we're going to need how, to have room to turn around. So, that means... This has to go. Now, we could po possibly... Oh, that's going to be a problem. Um... Yep, that's going to be a problem. I think... I think it would look weird if the kitchens opened up like that with the, I mean, it wouldn't necessarily look weird, but except for the fact that we're putting, um, you know, uh, crafting stations there. So yeah, that isn't going to work. All right. So let's, let's fix that. And we're going to go, we're going to have to just have the workstation stick out a little bit. You know what? It, it's not going to matter that much. It's not going to matter that much. Um, oh, the other thing, though, is that I want to keep this wall that texture. What other options do we potentially have? The white's not bad because it's bright. Well, let's just take a quick look -see here. Uh, I don't want to... I don't think I want to use that same brick texture because we need some variety here. I don't want it all to look exactly the same. Fabric blinds. Hmm. So that's that's not bad actually. It's it's a brighter color. And it doesn't look too shabby. Um but before we commit to that, what uh, what other options would we potentially have here? Drywall cream, drywall ceiling, drop ceiling. You guys know how it is. There's just not a lot to choose from, unfortunately. And this is all highly subjective. What some people think looks good, others may not, and vice versa. <laughs> What about this oak look? Oh, see, that's the same that's down there. Okay. It looks reasonably nice. There's also wood floor polish. There's wood crown oak. And there's wood fence. Old wood. Wood barricade. Um, 
What does this look like again? It almost has like a, almost a log look to it. It's really that's just really more of a trim piece though. You know what? Let's keep this simple. I mean, it's not like we can't change it later if I decide I want to change it later. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that fabric blinds. And let's just use that. There. That's not too bad. Makes things <clears throat> look bright. And we might even just do all of these the same color too at least the flat uh, or the vertical surface of the wall we might do something different underneath there that's not that's not too bad I think we can live with that um here let's do these two and I'm gonna do this too because this is gonna be covered up anyway so not like we can in, enjoy the texture. All right, if we do a texture picker here, uh, no, we don't want that. What we want is this here. Maybe even there, too. Yeah, I think that looks better. Okay. I'm good with this. And I think, too, let's fill this back in. I need wood planks to actually upgrade that. All right. Can I get this corner right there? Yes, we can. Okay, so for the sill, that's not terrible actually, but it's dark. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Excuse me, zoom tight. Um, I definitely don't like that, the way that looks. Uh, so we might need to do something different with that. And I, I have the wrong blocks in there too, but that's a lot of concrete blocks to have to change out. I don't think I'm going to. We'll just make... Well, you know what? Maybe we'll just keep this side um, just matching what's already here. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, now, over here... I'm not worried about any of the exterior painting for now. That's that's a that'll happen another time. Let let's look at Okay, that's black or granite. Is that what's already there? No, that's that's some kind of a weird metal texture. Black granite seems a little fancy schmancy for the crafting room anyways. Um pill case side. I think I've used this before. Oh, that is what that is. Okay. What about... There's another... Yeah, black TV screen. Is that shiny? Yeah, that is shiny, but it looks... It's like a really nice, glossy black. <laughs> um, So that's... I kind of like that, actually. Yeah, let's go with that. Let's do it. And we'll, we'll just go all the way along the sill here on both top and bottom. Let's do the bottom first. We're painting our windowsill with TV screens. How about that? Who'd have thunk? Let's copy this. And... <clears throat> At least do that in for for the moment. Okay, and then I don't know how much paint I... Oh, I got 246. It says, so in the lower right-hand corner. So we should be able to easily finish that out.
Very good. All right, now the next thing is... Uh, let's put the crafting stations back down. So we have the ballistics there and the Kim bench here. And we'll probably, we'll go ahead and bust out a hole here for another storage. And, you know, maybe it does make sense to keep, uh, to have steel chests over here because we just get so many massive amounts of gunpowder, of coal powder, you know, all that kind of stuff that we need to use over here. So can we make another steel storage in here? Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Let's craft that. Because that, you know, as I think about it, that just makes more sense to do it that way. Okay, so we basically have room along this wall to continue putting crafting stations. And I'm, I'm planning on leaving all of this open because here again, we're going to be bringing vehicles in through here. We'll need to pull around and kind of get it turned around. And we'll probably have to do some three-point, four-point turning or whatever for the larger vehicles like the uh, the cart and whatnot. I like it. I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, how are we doing on time? Probably getting close. Before, um, before we wrap up this episode, this is going to be multi-parts, obviously, as we have quite a bit more to do. And I might even uh, spend some off-camera time going and picking a bunch of goldenrod just so we have enough paint to finish this. Um, and we're going to have to have a pretty good-sized goldenrod and chrysanthemum farm up on the roof just to support all the paint we're going to need <laughs> for, for restoring the Dishong. Um, so we'll, we'll save the kitchen and the living quarters and the bathroom for another episode. <clears throat> but what I want to try and do uh, before I let you go here is I want to try and get some lighting in here. Um, so, do I happen to have an extra Jenny? Um, I thought I made an... Here, let's grab that battery bank too, by the way. I thought I had made an extra generator and ended up not needing it. It could... Yep, right there. Look at that. Fantastic. Okay, so we got that. Um, let's also grab some copper wire and a wiring tool and let's put that and that in there <clears throat> uh, okay so where to put the generator maybe in here makes sense because it's kind of a centralized location and it's kind of like a utility area that's a 10,000 hit point door isn't it I believe it is do I have any more of these brick blocks I don't think I do if I did they would be in here well we'll just use the concrete blocks Okay, so what I'm going to do is let's break out this. Well, actually, before we completely break it out, let's put another block underneath it. Roberta, you're in the way. drives while in storage. You do that. Okay. Oh, those are those were plates. It's all right, not a big deal. Um so yeah, I'm thinking we put the power in here and we could even attach it to the wall. And maybe even put it up high, just so the wiring kind of starts up high. All 
All right, good. <clears throat> now, let's grab... Uh, let's put a big motor in there, because this is our base. So we got tons of car engines. I think we can do that in UDL, UDL right? Pretty sure we can. Um, no. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. Oh, yeah, that gives us 250 watts of power. Very nice. In fact, we're never going to use all of these car engines. How much do they sell for? Yeah, they don't really sell for that much. Oh, my goodness, they're heavy. Yeah, I forgot about that. We might as well just fill this thing all the way up. Then one generator should handle the all of our power needs, I would think. Well, you know what? Let's just start with 750 watts, just because I'm tired of moving them over there. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so now, for lighting, let's first of all see what's available... That's probably a workbench item. Oh, you know what we could do? We could just use the lanterns. You don't have to wire them. They're nice and bright. They run on... They don't need any power because I guess they have an unending oil supply. Yeah, I, I, I think we should do that. Let, I'll tell you what. Let's do that for now. And we can always change it later. We can always change that later. So where would I have put the extra lanterns? Maybe in here? What's that? Oh, that's an old workbench. Just out of curiosity, how much paint do we get for scrapping one of these? Only five? <laughs> okay. That's uh, pretty worthless. Only five. Come on, game. Uh, I'm going to grab a couple of these toolboxes also. Okay, so I'm not seeing the lanterns in there. Maybe they're in the parts. Yeah. Oh, we only have one? For Pete's sake, I thought I had a bunch of those. Well, we can, we can loot those. We can loot those. So for now, then, since we only have one, I'm just going to put it kind of right in the center of the ceiling, which I guess is going to be, yeah, right about here. Um, we're going to have to go here and on face. There we go. That really lights things up nicely. I know it's a little unrealistic, but on, on the other hand... If we're going to start applying realism to this game, we might as well just stop playing right now. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just the way it is. Okay. So we could just... Okay, what happens... What would happen if... I'd really like to use... The drop ceiling... The dark drop ceiling texture, just because it looks good, even though it's very dark. Um, but with, you know, uh, these lights, which are pretty bright and the white walls and the fairly light, you know, uh, bricks there, I think it'll probably be fine and we'll have plenty of light. There's really only one way to find out, right? So let's go ahead and start painting this. Um, let's switch to paint roller mode. I don't know if I'm going to have enough paint to last the whole thing, but we'll try it. We'll just get the spots that give us the best coverage. Here, we might as well do all of that. And we can do this spot here, and then the rest we should do individual so we don't waste any paint. I don't know if the game, if you paint over a surface that is already the same texture, does it reapply the paint?
Okay, that's not too bad at all. Um, I'm going to wait until night time again and just see how well this single light is lighting up the crafting room. And if I don't feel like it's enough light, then, you know, we'll we'll put some more in later on. And I'm just going to... We'll just loot some more of those. There's, there's no point in spending resources making them when we can just loot them. Um, okay, so... Last thing we're going to do before I let you guys go in this episode is let's just get the rest of the crafting stations moved over here. Um, and then... I'm going to work off camera on uh, getting all of the uh, the storage moved over and all of the stuff. So I'm probably just going to, well, we could put the storage all the way along the ceiling. If we do that, then we're not blocking the window. And if we do that, then that means I'm going to move these up too. Well, we don't necessarily need to move these up though. Except for the fact that then it would be lined up with everything else. But I'll, I'll figure that out later. So let's just finish getting the rest of these moved over. So this is the artisan's table. And it's kind of... I mean, it's used to make blocks and it's more of a construction thing. So I guess it kind of makes sense to put it there. And again, we, you know, we're not, this isn't set in stone. We can always move this stuff again later as appropriate. Let's pick up our workbench, uh, which we do need to upgrade to tier three at some point. And might as well just put that right there for now. Makes sense to me. Maintenance station. That's something we use all of the time for repairing and occasionally for upgrading. Um, so where does that make sense to put? I don't want to put anything over there because we're going to expand that. We could put this here and put another set of blocks in here. We don't need such a large opening going into the kitchen. And I might even, you know, because we have this opening going into the bathroom, I might even end up doing that over here. So that being the case, um, let's just fill this in. And we want to texture pick that and texture pick that there and then it leaves us room uh, to put another chest in there too as appropriate <laughs> in fact you know too if we're going to do that I'm going to want to lower this If we're going to line those doors up exact, exactly the same, then that's what we would actually do. I, I'm not going to commit to this yet. I kind of liked it a little more open, um, so we're, I'm just going to leave that in place for now. I might change my mind on that later. Okay, what else do we have? We have the disassembly station, the research station, our fuel tank, these little guys, cement mixer, tailor station, and mechanics table. Let's grab the mechanics table next. I suppose we could just put that right here. Don't see why not. Okay, that looks good. And for the rest of the stations, let's pick this up. What we could do with this is put it right here because stone is also something we're going to be getting a lot of. We could put one here and then we could stack some more up along here later on if we wanted to so i think we'll do th that's what we'll do with this it doesn't protrude out quite as much as the furnace so it still looks like we have a little bit more room to maneuver there so i like that okay so that takes care of that um mortar and pestles are you doing anything yeah you were doing stone powder and you were doing stone powder let's just throw that stuff in there for now 
We'll pick these guys up. Now, one of you guys also mentioned, and it's kind of funny that you mentioned this to me because I was actually thinking about it as well, uh, of removing the, the kitchen in our living area all the way on the other side of the building and making that an armory. And I was actually thinking about that, and since it, one of you also mentioned it, it's a sign. <laughs> so, so I think we'll put the tailor station over there. And we could even put the research station over there too. So it's kind of more like a, you know, an office area. This, however, should be in the main crafting room, I think. All right. So for the mortar and pestles, that needs to be over in this area again, because it's stone. We could just do that. I don't see why not. Yep, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay, we'll put those right there. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more. Oh, sorry. Um, okay, so we could we could put that there, maybe. Uh, maybe. Or we could... Hmm, what are we going to do with this? It should be pretty accessible as well because of the fact that... You know, when we salvage or come back from looting, we're going to want to put stuff in there. Mm. I'm kind of wanting to keep this hallway open. We could put some stuff along here, I guess, but we'd have to take this out. I don't know if I want to commit to that quite yet. I'll tell you what I'm going to do for now. This is not necessarily going to stay there, but I'm going to put it there for now. It might end up staying there, or it might not. We'll see. It's actually not a bad spot for it. I'm just not sure I like the way that it looks, per se, but... And it especially won't work if I decide to open this back up. <laughs> Good. Okay, so... The one thing about the armory is it kind of would make sense to have the ballistics table there, but no, I don't think so because this needs to be in here with all the resources. So yeah, I don't think we're going to worry about that. So uh, we're going to want to put tools and stuff in here. Well, I don't know. The toolboxes are kind of neat looking, but we're going to get way more storage space if we just use those containers. We could maybe put them here more for decoration than actual using, perhaps. What about... Yeah, I like that idea. We could stick one there. Yeah, let's just go with that for now. And again, I may not actually use them. They don't have a ton of storage space, but they look cool, you know? They look cool. I like it. Okay. So I think we made pretty good progress today, you guys. Um, so in the next episode, the plan will be to work on the kitchen. Um, and the bathroom and the living area. So I just want to see if we can come up with a little bit nicer looking textures, toilets and sinks in here. And then, yeah, we're probably going to tear all of this out here. Maybe put like a, the, a big safe in um, or even a walk-in armory type of closet idea. You know what would be cool is can we, in the creative menu, can we get those... Um, you know when you walk into like um, Shaka Messiah and up on the wall they have the, the like the, the display with the guns? We, oh, we can. Oh, this is going to be cool, you guys. Okay, so what we'll probably end up doing then is, I don't, I probably can't craft these, but we'll just, you know, this is more for just decoration anyways. But we'll get rid of all this kitchen stuff and we'll, we'll actually set up an armory in here using, you know, the, the armor displays and the, uh, the gun displays. 
and equipment racks. Equipment rack. Gun rack small. Gun rack. What's the difference? Oh, they have just different types of guns on them. Oh, yeah, this is going to look good. So we'll fix this whole room up and make it an actual armory. And, the, and these are storage, too, right? So, so we can actually store guns in them. Let's just put one down. Yeah, so we, we can actually store guns in here, and we'll try and store guns that somewhat m match up with what's being displayed. And that'll look really good. I like it. I like it. Okay. Here, let's just get rid of this stuff. Some things I might have to pull out of the creative menu simply because of the fact that I can't actually craft them, and, you know, that's okay. It doesn't matter. It's not a big deal. Anything that I can craft, I will, but if I can't craft it, I'm just going to pull it out of the out of the creative menu. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go here. We made pretty good progress today. I'm feeling pretty good about stuff, and we will continue in the next episode with the kitchen, the bathroom, and the... Um, uh, the, the living quarters and armory. That's going to look really badass when we get that set up. You know what, though? We might... We need to we need to break things up. I don't want to do a ton of back-to-back -back building episodes, and we need to go hit some POIs uh, for research data. So maybe we'll do... Maybe we'll do some POIs in the next episode and then pick this up after. Uh, but we'll see. We'll figure it out one way or the other and keep having fun as we do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video. We'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.